The famous sculptor August Roden met Camille Claudel when he was 40, and she was only 17. She was a real genius. The famous writer and critic Octave Merber wrote about her. She is something unique, a rebellious nature, a brilliant woman. At the same time, they were incredibly close. They looked at everything the same way, including art. So, two sculptors started a passionate affair. At the age of 19, Camille became the only female student and assistant of Rodin. For the next 10 years, they worked selflessly, but hid the affair from everyone, because Rodin had been married for a long time. He was seeing Camille in a secret workshop that no one knew about, and then went home to his wife and child. His wife, Rose Burrow, was the complete opposite of Camille. She didn't understand art at all. He hid her from his friends and colleagues, but she courageously fed the family during the difficult years and lack of money. Rodin couldn't leave his wife and didn't want to leave Camille as well. Rodin's biographer, Judith Claudel, wrote, The fate brought Rodin together with a creature that seemed specially chosen for him out of thousands. What a pity that only now he met the one who seemed to have been created to become his lover and student. She was young and lovely. There was a nobleness in her. When Camille's parents found out about her affair with a married sculptor, they disowned her. And now she was completely dependent on Rodin, even financially. But everyone recognized her only as his student, not as an independent sculptor, because she was a woman. Over time, she realized that she couldn't stand it anymore and demanded to marry her. And then a real tragedy happened in her life. She got pregnant, and Rodin persuaded her to have an abortion, or she had a miscarriage after a quarrel. Their breakup was inevitable. Then Camille's life became harder and harder. She couldn't get Rodin out of her head in any way. She lost all large orders, became a beggar, and barely maintained her sculpture workshop. After some time, she no longer had a head and shoes for going out. She visited only one place. Hidden in the shade of trees, she watched the new villa of the wealthy Rodin. No wonder she ended up in a psychiatric hospital soon and spent there the rest of her life. Do like and subscribe if you enjoyed this story. Oh, and click on the bell so you get notified when the new episode comes out.